Hi, I'm Laura and welcome to my channel. I have some drugstore makeup for you today that looks very expensive. I have been waiting to do this video for so long. Let's start with foundation. Today I'm wearing on my skin this one from Catrice. It's $10.99. It's high definition liquid coverage. Look at the packaging on this. Just very luxe looking and it's got a dropper like many of the expensive foundations that have come out in the last couple of years. It gives great coverage. Now underneath this I'm wearing also from Catrice and I've mentioned this product before their light correcting serum primer. It's also $10.99. It has the dropper. It's got the rose gold packaging. This is glass and so is the foundation. So if someone were to see this and not know that Catrice is a very inexpensive brand and then saw it on your skin, I think they would believe you were wearing a very high-end foundation from uh, one of the department stores that you would buy, a Lancome or Estee Lauder. It gives great coverage and lasts all day. One of my favorite under eye concealers is this one from Neutrogena. It's from their Healthy Skin line. It has the brush like many of the expensive concealers do from the department stores or Sephora and it clicks up. It has a lot of product in it. It's got skincare ingredients. It does not crease under the eyes. It blends beautifully and I think it's a great choice for a luxe concealer from the drugstore. About a year ago, Milani came out with this beautiful collection. I bought all of the palettes. This one's called Most Love Mattes. It's perfect for a mature woman. Now, what I did today, I did something a little different. I'm wearing the mattes, but to give more of a glam look, more of an evening look, I used this for Milani that they came out with recently. It's their Hypnotic Lights. Now, this gives a real shimmer, but what I did so it wouldn't be so intense was once I applied that on the lid I went over it with this very light matte to sort of diffuse it and let the sparkle just sort of shimmer through. That's a great way for a mature woman to apply these kind of products. Now the one that I showed you here from Milani, this looks so much like Stila. Stila came out with a line of shimmery liquid products. It's got the sponge on it, the sponge applicator. What I like to do is tap it on and then take a brush. I take one of my Sigma brushes and just blend it out so that it doesn't get thick. Any of these products like this can look very thick on the eye and that's something a mature woman like myself definitely does not want. I want all of my products to be very thin, applied with a thin layer. So by putting it on, blending it out with a brush and then going over it with a mat, you get that little hint of shimmer without being over the top. Face powder can be so expensive and most of them from the drugstore have cheaper packaging. This one doesn't. It's Boots number no. 7. I picked this up over at Target and I'm telling you it is so fluffy and light. What I've been doing with my powder lately is baking the perimeter of my face. I just take my Sigma sponge, dampen it, put it in the powder, pack it on, and then I finish the rest of my makeup, maybe do a few things in the bathroom, tidy up, and then brush it off. And it gives such a better look than what I was doing before. Before I was just sort of dusting the powder on and it didn't seem to last or blur my pores as well. So baking around the perimeter, I also bake my nose. I just don't put a lot of powder in this area where I'm applying my blush. The packaging on this Rimmel product is not as luxe as some of the others, but let me tell you the formula is. This has been compared to uh, Charlotte Tilbury, some of her products. It is amazing, and the price on this is $6.99. I had to get it. I'm late to the party on this. I didn't buy this until a few months ago, but this highlighter I'm wearing now, what I like is it's not too much. I think it's perfect for a mature woman. I'm wearing the contour and the blush is just beautiful. This is a great product because you have everything together for $6.99. I think that's great. I don't like having to lay a lot of products out when I'm doing my makeup, but yet I want to use products that look beautiful on the skin. All three of these are winners. Revlon has come out with a new lip product that has really blown my mind. It's been my favorite lip product that they've come out with for years, and it's this Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish. This shade I'm wearing right now in the video is called At Natural. 
it's amazing. I think it makes your lips look so full. It looks luxe on the lips. The packaging itself, I think, looks luxe. Even though it's plastic, it has the look of glass. And it's just got a very sleek feel to it. Now, as far as the lips, it's like a lip gloss, lipstick, lip balm all wrapped up in one. I actually wore it to sleep because it felt so good. And when I woke up in the morning, my lips felt amazing. Now, I went back and bought this shade because it reminded me of Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It has that kind of a tone, and it is actually called Birthday Suit. It's a beautiful pinky nude that I think would go with anything you're wearing. This Act Natural 2 is another one of those shades that just goes with everything. But the look of the packaging, the look on the lips is absolutely luxe. Now, my other pick is from ColourPop. This is their Cream Luxe Lipstick. It costs $7.50, and the texture of it reminds me so much of this one that I bought for myself for Valentine's Day. It's from Charlotte Tilbury, which is my favorite line that is more expensive. If you look at the two of them, I'm not trying to match shades here, but I'm talking about texture. The packaging is sort of similar. Uh, the texture of the matte on the lips is pretty much spot on. So as you know, the Charlotte Tilbury is around $30, um, around that price range. This is $7.50. It lasts on the lips. They have some beautiful shades. So this would be my other pick for a luxe lipstick. In a moment, I'll announce the two winners of the Honey Lab 5-in-1 Skin Rescue Face Serum that I'm giving away. But this is also going to be a giveaway, and in my opinion, I think a really good one because this product has been so hard to find. A few months ago, Emily Noel did a Charlotte Tilbury Duke video, and this lipstick was flying off the shelves. It's from Flower Beauty. and. You couldn't find it anywhere. Well, I found three of them. It's the shade Spice Petal, and it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Now, I've bought both, and I would say the shade is spot on. The Flower Beauty, I actually made like a little bit more because it's a little sheer, it's a little shinier. The Charlotte Tilbury is a little more matte, but it is a spot on shade dupe. I love it. I bought a couple for myself so that I'm not tempted to go buy more Charlotte Tilbury because the price difference is about a third of the cost. But I'm giving three of these away, so in the comments, if you're interested, put something about the video that you liked so that I'll know if you like more videos like this. And the two winners of this serum are Julie Graham and Ruth Ann Hendricks. If both of you will send your mailing address to my address, which is in the description, I'll get these out to you this week. Thanks so much for watching, and have an awesome week.